Hello learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So nakikita niyo naman sa title ng ating video today. So we're going to talk about probability of an event. So there are different experiments so in finding uh, the probability of an event. So meron tayo yung sa tossing a coin. So basically, so madali lang 'yon. So, ang ating sample space ay dalawa. So, head and tail. So, pwede rin namang drawing a card from a standard deck of cards. So, we're in meron tayong 52 cards. So, today, ang focus nating experiment ay spinning a spinner. So, ito yung ating problem. A circle is divided into 12 equal parts to form a spinner. So, ito yung ating spinner. So, we're in... Ano yan, 12 equal sectors. So, itong spinner na to ay dinivide into 12 equal sectors. So, naglagay tayo dito ng numbers 1 to 12. And then, we have different events. Nakukuhanin natin yung probability. And when the pointer is spun, so ito yung ating pointer, what is the probability is that it will stop at? So, meron tayo ditong iba't ibang mga uh, kukuhanin probability ng events. Ng given events. So, remember na ang formula natin in uh, finding the probability is P of E equals the number of E. So, when you say the number of events, that is the number of favorable outcomes. Depende kung anong event yung given. All over the number of uh, N of S. So, when you say S, that is the sample space or the total number of possible outcomes. So, dito sa ating uh, given experiment, so our N of S is... 12. So, therefore, ang ating denominator lagi ay 12 because there are uh, 12 samples spaces. So, ito nga yung numbers from 1 to 12. So, the first event is find the probability of getting 7. So, the probability of getting a 7 is, so, there is only one 7 in the spinner. So, that is 1 over 12. So, that will be our answer. B. What is the probability that it will stop at a prime number? So, when we say prime number, the factors are 1 and itself. So, hindi kasama yung 1 because 1 is a special prime number kasi ang factors ang factor ni 1 ay isa lang which is 1. Eh, di ba? Kailangan pag prime number, ang factor ay dalawa. So, 1 and itself. So, ano kaya sa mga numbers from 1 to 12 na ang factors lang ay 1 and itself? So, let us identify. So, therefore, probability of getting prime number. So, ilan kaya yung prime number sa 1 to 12? So, lagay natin dito. So, 2. 3, 5, 7, 11. So, ito yung mga prime numbers. So, how many? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 prime numbers over 12. So, that will be our answer. Letter C, a number between 5 and 10. So, lagi na natin probability of getting number between 5 and 10. So, let us identify those numbers between 5 and 10. So, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, those are numbers between 5 and 10. So, there are 4. So, that is 4 over 12. And then, reduce our answer in lowest term or one thirds. Letter D. So, what is the probability that it will stop at a number less than 13? So, lagi natin probability of getting number less than 13. So, gumamit na lang ako dito ng symbol. 
And what are those number numbers less than 13? So, lahat to. Diba? So, numbers less than 13 ay 12 hanggang 1. And there are 12 over 12. Or, 1. So, meaning, kapag ang probability natin ay 1 or equivalent to 100%, so, ibig sabihin, lahat to ay pwedeng mapili. Kasi lahat naman ay pasok sa given event na a number is less than 13. Or letter E, what is the probability of getting a negative number? So, probability of getting negative number. So, there's none. So, wala naman tayo ditong negative number. So, 0 over 12 or 0. So, 0%. So, meaning to say that it is impossible na kapag in-spin mo yung spinner, you will get a negative number. So, wala ka talagang chance na makakuha ka ng a negative number. So, the answer is 0. So, for our last but not the least event, so what is the probability that it will stop at square numbers? So, that is the probability of getting square numbers. So, what are those square numbers? So, 1. So, 1 squared is 1. How about 2 squared? So, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So, since ang pinaka-maximum number na makukuha natin ay 12, so, hindi na nakasama yung 16. So, therefore, ang mga square numbers na ay 1, 4, and 9. And there are 3. So, 3 over 12. Or, in lowest term, we have 1 fourths. So, that concludes our lesson regarding probability of an event. So, we're in ating experiment I spinning a spinner, wherein it is divided into 12 equal parts. So, I hope that you learned something from our video today. So, pwede mo nitong i-share and see you on my next video lesson. Bye!